man, I have some really, really bad news. Um, but pretty much Captain has moved on. And like, when I say that, I mean, no longer with us anymore. Um, thank you all for, you know, all the support um, you guys gave and uh, all your um, prayers and everything like that. My girlfriend, um, Sophie's really been struggling, but I'm gonna probably pick her up around 6.30 today from the airport. It's been a long day. I've been up since 5 a.m. But right now I'm headed out. I'm gonna probably meet up with Michael Dixon. He just called. Um, I think he's punting in the bubble or something like that. I think I'm gonna bring you guys over there. I think that's gonna be really cool for you guys to see. Man, she was dirty. Big news, look at watch what I'm doing right now. Hey yes, yeah, my car is driving itself right now to a certain extent. Like it'll break and gas by itself, but I, I'll talk about that in a different video. But bigger news, I am out the boot. Finally, next thing is, I think I'm gonna start jogging soon. Really, no, I'm not, I'm not going to start jogging soon, but I got some time, but that's okay. Um, I walked for the first time in the Alter G. That's a special machine for you that don't know. Um, it was really cool, I got to walk. Yeah, so that was huge, and uh, no boot. Uh, but no more scooter, no more crutches, which is huge. That was the worst thing ever. Still working on getting studly, doing pretty good, I think. Uh, I don't know what my body fat percentage is. I'm going to post a workout video or two for y'all to see soon here, hopefully. Uh, just keep track on Instagram and Twitter. I'll keep y'all updated with video posts and, uh, you know, short clips and kind of what's going on. Max, I got all the dogs. Max, I got all the dogs. What's up? I'm over here with Michael Dixon. What's up? My dude, good friend, good punter, and my roommate. Um, yeah, so this is uh, where we practice. He said he's going to the bubble with his cousin, who's also a punter from Australia. Give me five Australian words or slangs in 10 seconds. Ready to go. Mate, g'day. Uh, oh. Oi. Uh, Abba. He struggled. He's been in Texas for a while. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Um, Ryan, though, his cousin has a stronger accent, which I'm going to show you guys in a sec. This is uh, where we practice when it's raining, when it's super hot, or when, you know, when coach wants to show us love and not just kind of expose us to the weather, which it doesn't matter anyways. You know, we'll play or practice and whatever, but it's nice. All right, so that is called the pit. For most of you football lovers, you probably don't know what the pit is or what the pit means. A guy like me, I've been hurt, like I said, I, I, I tore my meniscus twice, ankle, and hamstrings a bunch of times. So like, I've been hurt a lot. I missed a lot of days. I could medically retire, but you know, I'm, I'm just keep going, keep working. But when you're not practicing for an injury related reason, you're not just relaxing. You got, you got to come in here. That's one of the hardest things. So it's not fun at all. And they kind of just kill you. You just do a lot of upper body for lower bodies hurt, a lot of lifting. It's like busy work for football, but you got to do what you got to do. But check out the bubble though. Like I said, this is where we practice. Yeah, a lot of space in here, it feels good. It takes a little bit from the weather, which is nice. Yeah, it was like 18 degrees we were practicing of our first winter workout. It went, overall went real good, but I thought I lost my hands because it was about 18 degrees and it was, it was something else. Special view of the bubble. This is it. <laughs> What's this man doing? You can't be missing stuff, bro. We need you. This specialist is kicking at the wall. Now I'm playing. They live. 
Specialists have a lot of humor. They're funny. There's some characters. But this guy's a stud right here. <laughs> and this is little cousin. Let's see what you, you got. Let's see what you got. Look at this guy. Or five. You, five Aussie seconds. unique words in five seconds. Ready to go. G'day, mate. How's it going? Whoa. That's. Whoa. Whoa. He's nervous. Uh, g'day, mate. I said, I said, g'day. I don't know what. G'day, mate. G'day. It's two. Yeah, g'day, mate. And I said, oi. oi. I love these guys. Yule. Look at them. Look Yule. at them. Yule. What do you mean, Yule? Yule? Like, why? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Them Aussie boys, look at that. Only at Texas. I'm up. All right. Chill, chill. My man leveled up, huh? So checking the time, and it looks like. I'm not gonna be able to get a car wash today, which is unfortunate because my car is dirty, like it's bad. That's one of my pet peeves is when my car is dirty. I like to present myself to be more clean. I know some of those workout videos, I might look a little rough, but you know, I'm a football player too, so I gotta be both sides. Okay, you know what I got. What you got, bro? It's got a boomstick on it and everything. That was smooth, that was, that was smooth. He's done, bro. That was smooth. Bro. Always doing what? Trick shots or whatever they're doing. They alright. They alright. You just chilling, bro? Just chilling. This Jack right here. What's up? Senior long snapper, right? No, you got, you got, uh, this your fifth year? Yeah, it's my fifth year. Super fifth senior. Year. Just get studly, and look what happened. This. I felt a little tweak, so I, I obviously went in the training room, got to take care of it, but I got, I got scraped, but it left me this horrible, like, bruise. Let me tell you about this right here. This thing don't play. Back when uh, my freshman year when we had T-Rob and Coach Drayton use it now too, and man, running through that thing, they don't play now. All right, bro. All right, I'll catch you later. Hey, yeah, uh, him and his cousin are funny, huh? Right now, I'm headed to pick up, well, no, first I gotta go check in the dining hall, sit down, eat, get a good meal, which is so important. I've been lifting a lot. And man, I'm not, I'm not running, I'm not doing any agility. I'm pretty much doing lower body on my left leg, some lower body on my right leg, and smashing my arms. And like, I mean, I love smashing my arms. That's what I do on my free time. But then I also do this thing where I always do extra. No matter what we do, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my extra in. Um, for multiple reasons. One, I just really wanna just like look good, be a stud. I haven't played in a few years, so you know, when I come back in my pads, I want to look like a stud. <laughs> no, but really, um, yeah, it's just something I take pride in. You know, get the extra work. I love practicing here. That's one of the things I love about Texas. If you're a recruit, man, like, I can't even tell you how blessed I am and how blessed you will be if you come here. Like, check this out. If you're a recruit, I'd highly advise you um, to take some interest in Texas, at least give it a chance. You know, take a visit, experience it a little bit. I definitely, definitely think you won't regret it. Um, yeah, I'm so blessed to be here at Texas. Um, I love it. My, you know, my dad went here. My brother, Colin Johnson, is here. I also have a sister, Camille Johnson, who is um, on the track team, so we're all here. And we all love it, it's great. Um, they, they take care of you. But now it's time to go pick up my girlfriend before she kills me if I'm late. Back on the captain thing, yeah. I mean, we had so many good times. Um, I only had him about a year. Uh, those of you that follow his Instagram page, he has a lot of supporters there and a lot of pictures up. It's just kind of just sad to go back and look at it, especially, uh, like I said, my girlfriend's really sad, and she's been really hurt in the last few days. 
So yeah, thank you guys all for your support, all the tweets, all the Instagram messages, everything. Thank you so much. It means a lot to not only me, but my girlfriend, and also my teammates, all my teammates. Uh, kind of helped raise the dog. Uh, shout out Christmas. I uh, just got back from Dino Hall. I uh, had a good meal. I usually get the same thing or kind of like the same thing. Spinach leaves, then I usually go with some type of protein, lean meat. Um, today I had chicken. The chicken was pretty good. Actually, it was great. Decided while um, I still have about 20 minutes to spare, I'm going to head to HEB. I'm going to get her some flowers, you know, just have it right on the seat when she gets in. Uh, she's still really, really sad. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, get on the vlog while she's in the car. She's uh, so emotional because of Captain. Um, but yeah, you know, it's important to do like special things for uh, people who take care of you. Uh, she's struggling right now. I mean, I, I get her stuff sometimes just randomly, but she going through something, so you know, something that's probably in her day. Captain was her like, like I know Captain was my dude, but Captain for her was just like, you know, she raised him, she trained him real good. He knew how to shake, high five, do all these things. So like, it was a big deal for her when uh, he passed. <laughs> So me and Colin are headed to the union right now. We're about to meet up with a professor to help out with a few things. And then, like I talked about the foundation. And for now, we're gonna jump into the union. And we're here at the union. 